الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ربنا آمنا فاغفر لنا ورحمنا وأنت خير الرحيمين ربنا لا تزيك قلوبنا بعد إذ هدايتنا وهب لنا من لدنك الرحمة إنك أنت الوهاب اللهم إني أسألك علما نافيا ورزقا طيبا وعملا متقبلا رب يسر فلا توفر وتمم بالخير ربنا زدنا علما أجمعين إن شاء الله رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي عمري وحل الأقضة من لسالي يفقه قولي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته برزر السسر This is Asif, this is Ustad, Asif Mehrali class. For Sunday, October 13th, I believe, October 13th, my name is Nisar Sheikh, and I will be continuing facilitating grammatical analysis of the Surah, Surah Abasa, Surah number 80 in the Quranic sequence. This would be, inshallah, session number 6. Brother and sister, for those of you who are joining new for us, in this class, unlike most other classes, we analyze each ayah both grammatically and morphologically, assign the meaning to each word, <coughs> excuse me, and then to the ayah, and finally compare our translation with the work of these scholars. Our hope is that one day, with the permission, grace, and mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we will be able to look at any ayah of the Musaf and will not only understand it, but we also feel the beauty, depth, and eloquence of the message deep inside of our heart. Inshallah, Allahumma antajal Quran, Arabi and Kalbina, wa nura sadri. But before we proceed with the analysis, I would like to re-emphasize or reiterate, brothers and sisters, that I'm not a alim or even a teacher, but merely a student of the Quran, who spend many hours per week to prepare notes from a number of Arab books you can see on the screen right now, and <clears throat> Quranic dictionaries from our respective scholars, so that it save a lot of time for you to study and understand the message of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So on the screen right now, you can see I am I'm showing the name of the scholar along with the page numbers of the respective Arab books. <coughs> for easy reference and for the advanced student. But mostly, brother and sister, as mentioned before, that we will be following Dr. Suleiman Jakut. Mostly. But whenever further information is warranted or certain other explanation of the ulma is needed, I will add additional information from the <clears throat> from the scholars. And I will definitely give their names and, and page numbers you can see here uh, on the screen. For the sub brothers and sisters, <clears throat> that means the vocabulary or the conjugation of the each word of the ayah. I have consulted a number of dictionaries, mostly the Quranic ones, such as Brillo Badavi, John Penrise, Dr. Nadavi, Dr. Lusfur Rahman, and more general but detailed dictionary of Hensrael. And quite often, brother and sister, I have taken the notes from Brother Zahid Dain for the analysis of the Surah. I then, for your convenience, write the original and conjugation of each word on the page of the ayah so that it can provide you the easy reference when you are trying to translate the ayah yourself. Alhamdulillah. Of course, brother and sister, I'm just a human being. I'm merely a student of the Quran. I can make mistakes. So, first of all, I seek forgiveness in advance from my Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then, from you all, if I make any mistake, and humbly request you, rather encourage you to help me correct this mistake, 
and inshallah in the next session i will bring those mistakes if any and and make them a correction <clears throat> brother sister mostly as i mentioned repeatedly before that because of my exceeding age and also my recent strokes a number of uh, words in the ayah i'm not able to pronounce them correctly so please forgive me for that i'm i'm, I'm going to try my best inshallah so, brother and sister, right on the screen right now, you can see my email address. This email is very specific for this class. In this way, I will be able to respond to your queries, your corrections, your questions quickly and effectively. So, please do write to me and give your suggestion, valuable suggestion, inshallah. So, inshallah, we will proceed with the analysis. <coughs> and go to the our surah inshallah today the surah basa we will start from ayah number 24 inshallah onward but just to see the context what we talked about we will go a few ayahs backward i believe we have to go something here <coughs> ayah number 17 onward kutila insanu ma akfarahu this is the one of the most powerful ayah in this surah, and especially to myself, where if actually Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling you that condemn him the insan. Hmm. Condemn is the man that how disbelieving he is, you know, in spite of the fact. Why? We say, Man from what thing he was created, min nutfatin khalakahu fakaddarahu. From a drop of a semen, he created you, and he proportioned you or he molded you in, in different development. I think we talked this quite detail last time. Then he said, Summa Sabila, Yassarahu, and then he made, he made it easy for you for good and bad, or also the path for your birth. Summa Amatahu, Fa Akbarahu. Then he causes you to die, and then he he, uh, he he made the arrangement to be buried you. So <clears throat> he provides you the grave. No matter which way you die, brother and sister, in the Muslim you die, you bury in the ground yourself. A lot of people do uh, cremation. Some people job in said that. It doesn't matter. You're going to become a part of this earth. You're going to become a part of the earth itself. So that's what it is basically mean. So ma'amatuhu pa akbarahu. So. Then he says, Summa is a shah ansharah. Then, when he wins, he is going to resurrect you. He is going to resurrect you. And then he is going to spread you around. Ansharah. They spread you around. Kalla lamma yakti ma amrahu. He said, But surely man has not fulfilled yet what Allah has commanded him to do. Kalla lamma yakdi ma aksa ma amarahu. On the contrary, he says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a saying that a man, he has not accomplished fulfilled what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has provided you. From here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you the further reasoning. Palyan zaru, palyan zaril insan wala ta'aman. Ala ta'amahi. And then look at the man at his own food. <laughs> Inshallah, we go. Did he analysis? These are the different ayah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala referring to back to his command when he mentioned when he went the Kalla Lamma Yakdima Amrahu. There is a brother, sister, there is a still hope for all of us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raise the room open that we have not yet fulfilled what, what he has commanded us to do. So inshallah, may Allah make us make us fulfill our duties the way he really like us to do. Inshallah. So let's analyze each word carefully, alhamdulillah. So the sister here, Zuril, Fa is one word. Lam is another one, and Yanduru is three. The three, this word consists of three words, okay? 
And then we have, I'm going to tell you is here, Kasra, why Kasra is did there, okay? So, Pa, one line, okay? <clears throat> this is where the such a hard flow is not here. <laughs> Excuse me. We done. Hard flow is stiff. Go beg your pardon. Nafia, Babniala, Pata. And my sister, Dr. Fakhruddin Kobaba, also mentioned that this why is I'll Pasiya to Lilista Nafi was subunion. Pasiya to is an explanatory and it's a Sanaf and it's also giving the reason. So we will see when we do the translation. I'm not going to write down that thing here. Just I, I mentioned that this, this, um, to, Detail of this work could be al fasihatu li istanaf wal sababiya. Li istanaf wal sababiya. So, simple way is our question of here. Okay? But also is giving the explanation and the reasoning and sabab form of this thing forward. Okay? Now, number two, second word is lam. This is harpo amrim or lamu amrim. So, I will say. <clears throat> Actually, this is a hard, so but it is Lamu Amrin. Someday, inshallah, I will share with you my document about the type of law which is used in, in the Quran. Wa Jazmun. Lamu Amrin wa Jasmine. I beg your pardon. Madam, <clears throat> Okay. And this is Mabni Allah Sukun. And brother sister, this is basically called Men Jazazimun Madariya. Men, jav men Javazimun Madariya. Men, there it makes, I will write down for you, for your notes. Men is from those words which make Madaria Majzum. Okay. It's among those words, it makes Madaria Majzum. Okay. Madaria. <clears throat> Yanzu. Actually, it is basically number three. This is actually Yanzur. It makes this Madaria Majzum. It makes this Madaria Majzum. But this uh, when we do that, then you will know. Okay, let's write down. Madaria, Majzumun. And this alamat e jazam, which is sukun, is a sukun or al muqaddara. So you have to estimate it. Sukunu. Al Mukadru Litakai is Sakini Saki nine two. The meeting of the two Sukun. Yeah. If you look, there's a Sukun here, there's a Sukun here. To avoid this thing, the kasra is added to the kinet. Okay. So, so fal yan zuril in sanu. So this this is what the kasra is added here. Okay. To avoid the meeting of the two sukun. Okay. And the jumla. Now you have, brother and sister, you have a fal yan zuru. Following this al in sanu. You can see. The marfu noun came again. So this marfu noun is file of the fail yanzu. Very easy. Alhamdulillah. Halwa puri. Failun. And of course it is marfuun. El aramat yarafayiz dammatuz zahira. Right here. Okay. 
Now this Joomla brother and sister between oh what happened here? This Joomla <clears throat> let me just speak it that a little bit for aesthetic reason. Joomla min fail plus file <clears throat> is actually la mahalla min ayarab because it is istanafiya. Okay, it has no arab. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pal yanzuril insanu ila tani. Ila is her pleasure. Easy. Mabniela Sukun and <clears throat> and Tama is Tama is two words here Tam and he. Okay. You can see her pleasure came in immediately following that is ism. So it becomes Jaro Majaru, right? So it just becomes Ismo Ism Ismo Ismun Majururun. Walamate Jarra is Kasratu Zahira. Okay. And it's also, brother and sister, because this Islam came, Islam came, and another Islam came, this become Mudaf Mudafi Lahi. If you know, Harfijar comes, Islam comes, become Jaro Majururun. And the Islam came, and Islam came, either it could be Natu Manut. But here you can see the kasra here, this is mudaf, mudafi, ilahi. Alhamdulillah, once you know the fundamental rules, it becomes, become halva puri, as our swab used to say. Wahua, mudaf, and these two lines here, alha is damire mutasilun. Mabni ala kasra. And it's fi mehalli. What is the status in the sentence? It's jarrin. Fi mehalli jarrin. Why? Because it is mudafi ilahi. Mashallah, it's halwa puri. Halwa puri. And those of you who know the tazweez actually, more than I do, actually, I am, I'm just a student. This is a harufa sagira, right? And it, it is actually madda, madda silatul kubra. Why? Because the next ayah has a hamza. So let's see. Next ayah is starting with the hamza. Okay. So therefore, there's a hakim there. <clears throat> so it becomes with the mad silatul kubra. <coughs> so let's look at the Alhamdulillah translation. Palyan Ziril in Sanu Ela Amihi. Pai is Napia, which is then simple meaning. Lam is Lamu Amre with judgment, let. Then let what is Yanzu. Very simple word, brother and sister. Nazara, Yanzuru, Nazaran, and Munzaran. Bab Nasra. Bab Nasra. Nas Nazara, Yanzuru. With and without Ella. With and without Ella. If we have a with and without Ella, it means to see. To view, perceive with the eye, to observe, to watch. So here basically meaning is look, to see, or to observe. To see is a little bit different than the observing. Observing means you see and you ponder. <laughs> you see and you ponder, and that's where the word use here. Okay. 
فارم فور فور دیس از برادر سیستر انزرا یونزرو انزارن کیم نو قران تو ڈیلے تو گیو ریسپائٹ تو گلے ڈیلے تو گیو ریسپائٹ از انزرا انتظرا ينتظرو انتظارا انتظار از کامن ورڈ یوز ان اردو دوز اف اردو سپیکنگ آئی تھنک ویری کامن از اے فارم ایٹ ٹو مینز ٹو ویٹ سی ہیو دی ڈفرنس to see or to wait or to give respite this is the importance of of uh, of knowing the different quranic words coming that's why you make an effort to write down all the important words beside it so you should revise it all the time when you come to it okay so it become easier for us in a future our hope is that inshallah one day in a few years time we can open any page of the mustaf inshallah we will be strong in grammar we be strong in sentence formation we will strong in vocabulary and alhamdulillah we should be able to we should be able to do and there is a lot of other marail we have not gone through the tafsir yet or the or the or the blaga yet you know this is the quran is so vast you know it's just a full of knowledge more we more we work hard and alhamdulillah the more we inshallah we will enjoy it okay from the same word nazaratun nazaratun which is ism file in a muannas one who sees or one who who's waiting one who sees or one who waiting quite common okay so here we say to observe then to observe or to look by yanzuru then then let i think i should write down together there would be make a little bit more sense then let insan the man observe look who insan the man that the man look we have little bit on insan actually you can also look to see i 23 i think we did that it is coming again there <clears throat> so it is basically anisa ya nasu anusa it could be both way brother and sister remember i mentioned that this could be both way <clears throat> let me let me just uh, make a line here a red line you see this is and this one the first one is bab samia the second one is bab saruma it has both bab okay brother and sister so bab samia anisa ya anasu باب اروما انوسا یا انوسو ان بوتھ ار مصدر از اونسن مصدر فور بوتھ ار اونسن اس یوز ا ویری مور ٹائم سو ائی تھوٹ ائی شڈ سپینڈ سم ٹائم فار دس میننگ دیٹ فار میننگ اف دس ورب بی ٹو بی کمپیشنیٹ سوشیبل فرینڈلی ٹو بی کمپیشنیٹ سوشیبل فرینڈلی انسان از ا کلیکٹیو ناؤن فرام دی سیم روٹ ورڈ call mankind human being man man and woman is used for collective noun move for both man and woman okay insuyun someone from the human race insuyun someone from the human race so here is the human kind or man and woman so it is generally speaking okay is generally speaking for for the man a man is man and woman or the human kind. maybe human kind is better actually ila at tamai tama bab samiya brother sister taima yat amu taman taima yat amu taman means to eat or to taste form 4 is at ama a common yut amu it aman yut amu it aman to feed someone to give to eat to give to eat so they have said that ismu masdar from there you see there could be a masdar this is actually a form four taman is a form masdar from taman four it aman you know is definition of ismu mas ismu mas uh, ismu masdar is that is actually a masdar of a verb which is one or two letters shorter than the original masdar 
वन ए टू लेटर शॉर्टर दिन हो जाए सो दिस लेटर इज इज रिमूव फ्रॉम देयर एंड ऑफ कोर्स फॉर दी थिंग यू कैन नॉट स्टार्ट विद दिस नंबर सो पता इज एडिट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस पता ऑफ द फॉलोइंग वर्ड ओके सो दिस इज सिंपल रूल्स सो एक्चुअली तामन इज इज मो मस्टर फ्रॉम दी फॉर्म फोर इज मो मस्टर फ्रॉम दी फॉर्म फोर फ्रॉम दी मस्टर फॉर्म फोर दी एक्ट ऑफ फीडिंग the act of feeding someone is tamam form temporary is tama yes ta mi u is ti ma is ti aman to ask someone for food to ask someone for food is tama ask someone for food okay so here tama is simple food food okay he is his muda muda pulai so become his food so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was saying fal yanziril insanu wala ta'ama this is connected with the previous aya talla lamma yakbil ma'amrahu oh man on the contrary he said the man has yet not fulfilled his what he was commanded to do and is reminding is to look at you in the man should then man should look at the look at his own food <laughs> who provide this food for him look at the own food okay the man should look at his own food here by the way I, i i forgot to mention one thing very simply in this thing this is jaru majur remember we always said jaru majur is mutallik always mutallik something right thank you pardon here i should do all line simple line so i will write down here which is i forgot jaro majroorun and this is mutallik mutallik bi fe'l yanzu ट्वेंटी What happened? Yeah, what did they get? I think twenty-four. I beg your pardon. <laughs> I was reading it wrong. That was the thing. Okay, let me bring this thing from here to become easy for you guys. I think you guys should make a habit of habit of looking at uh, try to put some harakat and look at what what Jacob is trying to say because we are basically following. following yakub so basically we're saying i should put down here say what well, the meaning of this sentence for according to yakub is fal yanzurul insana ila ta'mi ta'mi alladhi ya'ishu bihi kayfa kayfa dabbarna amruhu meaning that the man look at his food by which he lives how we have arranged his affairs how we have arranged his affairs okay the man look at his food by which he lives how we have arranged his affairs so according to dr yakut these are the meaning for that i think i will remove this thing and look at the authentic translation for our scholars and see copy Doctor Mustafa Khatta, those of you who are new in the class, they basically do the three three is called as translations. One is from the clear Quran, Doctor Mustafa Khatta. The other is Doctor Mohor Ali. The other one, the third one is Imam Torres, sister Imam Torres of UK Al Hanif. Okay. So Doctor Mustafa Khatta translated for Yanzuril Insana Ilat Amehi. 
let people then consider their food. Dr. Muhurali, let then man look at his food, which is literary translation that we did, okay? Iman Torres, so let the human consider his food. Okay? And this is all related to the previous ayah, which we is, which is sending, Kalla Lama Yaqdi Ma Amrahu and he continues So Alhamdulillah Before I go forward I should give you a screenshot of this I think I missed I have to start writing a little bit bigger uh, I, I'm I'm, I'm I'm sure you guys should be able to enlarge and we will show it, okay? There's not enough room in the seats here. And this is the vocabulary for that. Okay? Alhamdulillah. So we go to the next ayah. Anna sababna alma sabban. Okay? <clears throat> Brother and sister, Anna is actually, you can, almost every one of you by now, it consists of the two words. Consist of two words. Anna does now. Okay. <clears throat> so here the noon socket of the Anna is dropped. And noon with the Madharaka noon of the moon is assimilated with the noon of the na. Okay. So Anna is it is basically Harfe Tokidun Wa bin It has two words. Okay. First one is an Anna, which is Harfe Tokid. Harfu Takidin. And it is Mabni Allah Pata. And what happens is a Pata. Pata Alal Anuni of the Noon Al Mazufati. This is saying that the Pata on the Noon is the one which is Mazu. Mazufati. Manan Litavali Amsalu means that three noon coming, Salasin no Nanti. So to remove that thing is, is Manan Litavali. I'm just trying to introduce the word which Jakut has used. Here. Amsali. Which is classy noon. Three noons are coming, so I think one noon is dropped. The noon has the as a pata which you drop. Al salasi noonati. Hmm. Okay. That's the anna. And number two na is the mere matasil mabni ala sakun fi mehali nazbin because inna came in. So following following Damir with that becomes Ismoinna. Okay. So it says, let me I think I did say I should try it big. Damire Matasilun Mabniela Sukun Female Nasdin and this becomes Ismo Inna. Sorry about that. Okay. So this is Anna Anna Sababna. Sababna here, Pelemadi, the two words, brothers and sisters. Sabab, 
and na. Sabab and na. So, sabab. Sababa. Sababa becomes sabab because it's combined with the mutaharraka damir. Whenever fele madi, whenever fele madi uh, joins with the damire mutaharraka, which is na, like na, ta, ti, the all damire mutaharraka, then the lam kalma, lam kalma of the, see brother sister, I made out of fa kalma, ayn kalma, and this is lam kalma. The lam kalma of the, of the fele madi, take a sukun. This is a simple thing. Okay. So we say he is Sababna is Fele Madin. Uh, my hand is not working today properly. So he says, I think I may have to. Oh, that's the reason. Beg your pardon. Yeah, now good. Madin, Mabniela, Dhamma. I think we come to thick. Madin Babni Dhamma. And number two is Damir. Damir Mutasilun. Mabni Allah Sakun. Fi Mahali. Now, what would be the famous system? Sababna. Badi Yuan Midi Mutahraka thing. It becomes file. It becomes file. We may have the rough in file. Okay, we may have the rough in file. But, brothers and sisters, look, Ismo Inna came here. Where is the Khabru Inna? You can look through Al Mahi Sabban, so you can't find it. So, this Jumla, which is filled of file, Jumla min file. Plus file is fi mehali rafin because it's more nice nasbin. Its khabar is marfu. It's more inna is mansub. Khabar is marfu. So fi mehali rafin khabro inna. I think we write with the blue pen. To be consistent. But as I said, now when Inna came and Fail came, that become Anna and Fail become Mazar Mawal. <laughs> and we Tawile Master. So what could be we Tawile Master would be? Okay. So we say that. Next point here is Anna plus Fail. It becomes Mazdar Mu'awwal of the Tawil Mazdar. Okay. Al Mazdar Al Mu Awwal. Okay. And this Mazdar Mu'awwal would be now Fi Mehalli. Should be red pen. Fi mehali jarrin. Why, brother and sister, fi mehali jarrin? Okay. Why fi mehali jarrin? Because it is a badal istamal of ta'ama, which came here. It's a badal ta'ama, badal of this, and since this is ta'ama is Madafi Tama is Majroor, it's a Majroor. So his Badal here is become is some is, is become female jarin majroor. Okay. So actually it is Badale Istamal min tamam. I think and I did uh, I did sometime explain you guys about the different type of, four type of others which came in Quran, okay? Is the 
mal mental. Al Tami. Okay. So that's why it is Fimehali Jarri. So Fimehali Jarri. Okay. Al Ma. Now we have a file. Madi. We have fail and file. We have a file here and we have a fail here. Fail plus file. Actually, I should write down here file. So, al-ma'a, which is mansub. Immediately say the mansub noun came in, it become a fully by of the fail. So, so, this is al-ma'a, which is ism, actually came as a mafuli bahi, and it's mansubun. And alamat in asba is patatu zahira. Right? Of pain. Sababna. Okay? Alma sabban. Sabban. So, brothers, brothers and sisters, you know, sababna alma sabban. Fail came. And master came, this master now become mufule mutalek. Master become mufule mutalek. Sababnal ma sabban is a mufule mutalek. And this is actually a mufule mutalek of a type, Libyani now. I think we went through several times, but maybe important to, because this is a number of ayah from here coming. Shak, uh, shakaknal arda shakkan. Okay, and then following come. Anbata fiha habban. So there's a lot of things coming. So I think it's better to look at the Mufule Mutlik a little bit. Okay. Mufule Mutlik, I think I explained you a number of times that grammatically Mufule Mutlik is the master of a verb occurring in a sentence for emphasis and is always mansoom. Mufule Mutlik is the master of a verb containing in a sentence for emphasis purposes and is always mansoob. It has a four type. Nitaki Rimaine to emphasize the meaning of the of the sentence, the meaning of the word you're using. Okay? For example, Wakallamal Wakallamallahu Musa Takliman. Kallamallahu Musa Takliman. Allah spoke to Musa directly. Okay? Clearly. Number two is Libyane Adadi to specify the number. Tabiyal Kitabu Tabatini. Okay. The book was printed twice. So it is actually verb came here and master came here. Verb came here and a master came here. Now third type is Libyane Nui. For example, to specify the type of action. The verb is giving. For example, Mata Mauta Shahoda. I think we did in a previous section also when I am. You know, we came seven. Okay. Mata Mauta Mautush Shahada. To specify the type of action. From here now came Sababnal Ma Sabban. It is specify the action. Okay. So when we do the thing, inshallah. Then we then become more clear. And the fourth type is al Mazdar Naibana Pelehu. For example, we mostly use the word shukran. We usually make the word shukran. What is shukran? What is shukran? Actually, the sentence is Ashkaru Shukran. Ashkaru Shukran. I thank you, a thank. Okay? Which is substitute for its verb. So just call the Shukran is Ashkuru is Mazu. We should be Ashkuru Shukran. So there are four types. Here, brother and sister, ka sababnal maa sabban. It looks like a mufule mutlek. And mufule mutlek liye beyond you now specify the action of the verb. It giving the talkie to the action of the verb. 
I hope it is clear by the system. I thought it's better to re review it. We did, I think, a few more times before, but but it's, it will not hurt. Mafule. And then, sister, the reason I keep on doing it, I have my other class, Bitullah Quran, where we have the students who finished book number one, book number two, book number three in very detail. They have looked at the looked at the um, all the videos of our Ustad also, and the and the from the LQM. But again, when the when this type of concept came in, they need they need a revision. They usually basically people who are not used to reading it again and again they forget. So it's a good idea in my in my personal opinion. Please forgive me for those of you who are very knowledgeable that they they believe they are waste of time. But for the other people who are in the beginners or the middle class, actually they will they will appreciate this that they can get the revision for uh, uh, for these concepts. Okay. So my apologies for those who are Alhamdulillah already know because this is the class for Alhamdulillah for everybody. Mufulla Mutlak and Mufulla Mutlak as man said is always a mansoor. And alamat in Asba, you can see is patatan. Okay, it's pata. Okay, and its type is Libyani. No, I will write down in bracket. Its type is. Oh, Libyani. Anui. Okay, meaning I will write down again for those who do specify action. Is emphasizing specify the action. Doctor uh, Yakut has mentioned mokadli amilahi is affirming or confirming or granting the action. Is affirming, confirming or granting an action. Okay, Mo'akad Liamdehi. I'm not going to write that thing down. Actually, I think it's, it's Alhamdulillah. It should be, it should be clear. So let's do the, let's do the, let's look at the Alhamdulillah translation. So what is the translation? Anna, we already know that we, Or indeed, we sababna. What is sabab? Sababna, the word basically, brothers and sisters, is sabba. It's mudaf word. Mudaf, what is mudaf word, brothers and sisters? Mudaf word, the word where, where, ain kalma is double. Pa, a, la, ain kalma is double. Okay? Sababa. Okay? So basically, the Lam kalma and I'm, uh, lam or am kalma is the same, so it becomes double. Okay, so it's from bab nasra and sister is sabba ya subbu sabban sabba ya subbu sab sabban. Okay, so sabba. So there is the pata on the lam kalma become a become a sakun. Because it's combined with the damire uh, mutharraka, okay? meaning to pour, to empty, to pour and to empty. When it comes with the harpeja p, means to fill. When it comes with the harpeja ella, it means to impose a trial, to impose a trial. Sabba ala or sabba fi, okay? The all, all the time. This collocative use of the verb. When the verb comes with the preposition, sometimes the meaning of the verb quite often change, and sometimes it even reverse. Sometimes even reverse. I gave you examples before. Okay. Now the word sabun here, which is verbal noun, sabun is a verbal noun, means that the act of pouring out a liquid and the like. The act of pouring out a liquid or the like is is sabun. Okay. 
But again, sorry, Sahindu, this is not the word used here, brothers and sisters. It's the Fele Madi used here. Okay. This Fele, oh, beg your pardon. Fele Madi used here. So I think I made, uh, I made an error here. This is not, okay? So actually, this Fele Fele Madi, and I will just point out the line here. Subban is this, okay? The Mutaharraka, when the when the Damira must uh, Damira Mutaraka combine with the Pele Madin, the second ba become a become things. Okay. For example, write down is actually Sa Ba Ba. This ba now took a sukun to combine with the na. Okay, that's what it is. Okay. Pele Madin combined with the Damire Mutaharraka, so it becomes Pachsa. So this is what here is. Okay, Saban. All right? So I hope this is this is clear. So here is pouring. To pour or to empty. Sababna means we poured. We poured. Alma'a is the water. Ma we know. We pour the water. Sabban, like pouring. This is what, oh sorry, I beg your pardon, that's what. This sabban here is, I was right there. I made a mistake here, just a minute. So let me, let me point it out. This sabban here is, is this one, okay, or this one. What about now? This is a what about now? Or this is same, okay? This is marfu and this is mansoop. Masdar is always mansoop, so you the uh, say sabban, okay? So we can call it pouring or in literary translation would be a, a downpour or pouring or downpour. Pouring or downpour or in abundance, right? In in abundance. In you say what a pouring or or downpour. See we say, oh my god, what a what a rain. It's raining as a cat and dog okay, in English. Yet Sabban alma, sabban, <laughs> rain and cats and dogs. Raining a rain after rain after rain, you know, heavy rain is called the sababnal ma sabban. Sababnal ma sabban. Okay. So this is our translation. Now look at the Dr. Yakut has made some, some translation. For uh, he, he actually not translation, he did the explanation of sababna. Okay. Let's look at it. Why he said why it is Pimehali Jarrin. So we go to the my notes. And we go to there we go. I will copy from here. Bring to our class. Oh, I don't know what happened with your sister. So I have to go back. I think we failed to copy there. Copy. Now it's done. We get it here. There we go. Oh. Okay, Dr. Akut is explaining. He say fi behad ye sababna is remember we mentioned here is fi mehal li jarrin but there is tama that's what is that's that's what it is is telling oh beg your pardon just find my mistake also when I look at it is tama okay so I will do here so that we have to correct it okay so um, let me just take my 
پوائنٹر اسے فی محلی جرن بدر استعمال من تعامم اوکے من تعامم اوکے سو وائی ہیز ایکسپلیننگ لا ان انسباب المائی وہ غیسو بیکاز دی پورنگ آف دی واٹر وچ از دی رین و انشکاق الارض اینڈ دی اسپلٹنگ آف دی ارتھ کما فی آیت کریمہ تالیہ ایز ان دی فالوئنگ نوبل ورسز سبب ال سبب ال لی لی حدوسی اما آ دی کاز آف دی اکرنس آف دی واٹر دی کاز آف دی اکرنس آف دی واٹر آئی ڈیڈ بریز این سسٹر دیٹ ڈو دیٹ دس ان شاب از اے مسجد مین پورنگ غائسو از دی رین ان شاک اسپلٹنگ وی ڈیڈ بیفور اینڈ دین اتالیتی سبسیکوینٹ ٹو فالوئنگ سبب دی ریزن کاز the hadusi occurrence or happening of the water okay so basically he said that is basically tam is made because of the pour of the water in abundance okay so let's look at the authentic translation of our i thought i think these are the these are the footnotes what dr yakut has it since we are following the dr yakut i do a pen to go through the meaning of the each word and try to translate what he basically tried to explaining what is the pouring of the water the means to the earth and when the earth breaks it the earth grows the food and basically that food which is mentioned before okay so let's do the uh, translation of this ayah which is 25 so we take it from here we copy Please, sister, just bear with me. Most of you will think that we, we spend a lot of time in grammar and so forth. This is the original class, brother and sister. So I think we have quite a bit of emphasis on the grammatic analysis and the vocabulary. Inshallah, when we finish the Yoma, just to third year Jews, then we cut down our writing of the grammar too many times. We just mention here, for example, when Sabanam comes, I will only mention is a fele madin. and 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 the mir here that you know so we just write on madin and and the mir which is a file and we go forward in this way inshallah we will be able to uh, able to cover the other quran section of the quran uh, very rapidly inshallah okay so bear with us we have decided in the beginning of this class that juzumma amma we i think we will do in a detailed analysis of each words and each grammatical analysis that's why it becomes so much time consuming so be patient for that I think so. We have to we have to take everybody along with us. Some people as a in a primary level, some in secondary, and some people at advanced level. So this is the this is the work of a dean. This is the to love the Quran. This is the this is the class of the people who love Quran. So we try to take all of us together with us. Those of who are advanced, those of who will think together with us, we go forward, inshallah, and make it easy for all of us to understand the message of our. Lord, inshallah. That's our, alhamdulillah, ultimate goal is. So, so the, the authentic translation was in front of you right now. And Dr. Mustafa Khatab saying, Anna sababna al-ma'a sabban, how we poured down the rain in abundance. That we indeed, we have poured down the rain in abundance. we indeed do pour water in downpour we indeed do pour water in downpour we pour down the water in abundant rain so these are all the basically tafsiri translation and basically is related to sabab na which is related to that you can look at your food and then how we made this food to be available to you i will saying anna sabab nal ma sabban that we pour down the water in abundance okay. And the next ayah will give a bit more. Summa shakkanal ardu shakkan. And we, inshallah, we follow that thing. Right now, we just give you uh, a, a screenshot of this page. Alhamdulillah, we go forward. Yes, I need uh, just one minute to take a sip of water. Just give me a... Give me a please. Um, I think my
भी है तो नेक्स्ट लाइब्रेरियन सिस्टर इज सुम शकक नल अर्दा शक्कन सुम शकक नल अर्दा शक्कन Brothers and sisters, we have to go far faster here because it's very similar to whatever we whatever we studied before. Okay, so we do we give shakakna is same thing as sabna, right? Shakakna alma, the sabna alma is maud saban is shakakna al arda shakkan. So same thing, except summa is. Let's quickly do it. I'm going to go faster from here. So hath me atav. You find something went wrong here, brothers and sisters. What happened here? Yeah, <laughs> somehow. Okay, <clears throat> let's try again. That's the other one. Mabniela, pata. Shakakra is the same thing. Maybe I think what should do? I will just. I will just do. Copy. Paste. And we correct it. Shakakna is the two word version system. Shakak. And na, pele madi mabni la pata, right? That's one. And na is the mere matasel mabni la sukun female rapin file. We write down file here. And the jumla men fill a file because there's no one that can hear. Jumla men fill a file is female rapin is 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 matu fill a jumla sabna. And what was the jumla sabna? Okay. Sabnam Nawaz, Jumla, Sabnam, Sabab Nawaz, Pimehali, sorry, Pimehali Rafin, Pimehali Rafin, right? So this Jumla also becomes Pimehali Rafin because it is Matu Fiala, Pimehali, okay, be pardon. Why? Because it is Matu Fiala. Jumla Sabadna. Cool. Brother and sister, when you rush, then you make mistakes. Sabadna, yeah. Yeah. And that's why it, that's why it, Because sabam na was si mehali rafin, so this jumla because matu fiala jumla with the with the with the ataf matu fiala jumla with the with the with the summa with sabab na, so therefore it becomes si mehali rafin. Arda is again mupuli bahi that we explained before. And it is Mansubun. Alamat in Asma is Fatatu Zahra. Right? And Shakkan is exactly the same as was before, brother and sister. So we'll go back. I will just take the Shakkan there and write down. What happened here? Where are you? We just take this. There it is. Shaktan is again Mufwale Mutlik, Mansuban, Alamente Nasbais, Patatu Zahira, right? Patatu Zahira. It is again the same, Libyani Toki, classify the action. And this is the thing which Dr. Yakut writes. Mokidin li amalehu means affirming the for the action. That's why we did the specify the action 
or Tokid for the action. Okay. So Summa Shakak Nal Arda Shakan. So let's look at the each word for that. Okay. Summa is then. First he pour the water, right? And now he's saying then, then what what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did? Then Shakakna. We cleaved. Let's look at the shakka. I think we did this thing before, brother and sister. If you recall, if you recall, I think we did that. <clears throat> we did that. Um, we did that. Is a samau unshakat. Right? Is a samau unshakat. We did that thing. What is a? When the sky is split apart, in the ayah, in shakak, very first ayah in the shakak is a samau unshakat, unshakat. This is the same shakak, okay? So shakka, ya shakku shakkan. This is bab nasra, means to split, to cleave, to cut lengthwise is all shakka. With Allah, to cause hardship or to plan difficulty or to place difficulty on. To cause hardship, to place difficulty. Form seven from there is in shakka. Form seven from there is in shakka. Okay. In shakka, yan shakku, in shikakan. To split up, to crack, to be raped. Shakkan is basically cracking, splitting up, breaking asunder. Splitting, splitting up, breaking asunder, which is this shakkan. Okay. This is what you came here. Okay. Sorry, this is what which came here, and this is what which came here. Okay. This is what which came here. Okay. The same thing here, brothers and sisters. The it should be. Let me write down to 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 clarify this thing. The word is sheen, kaf, kaf, shakka. This kaf now. This calf take a sukoon. Okay. Two with the combining with the na. Okay. And that's why become shakak na. This become sha kak na. Okay. When when a damire madi when the when damire mutaharaka combine with the damire madin. The lam kalma we take a sako. Okay. Alhamdulillah. I hope it's clear now. Okay. So let me do this. This is maybe better. Now. Okay. okay. So these are the two words here. Okay. So we say we cleaved or we split apart. Then we which is royal V, and we just showed royal V, V cleaved or split apart. It's not a cutting, rather, whereas it's a splitting. Arda, the earth, the earth. Shakkan is splitting verbal noun, right? Okay. This is where the, the pouring of the rain, cats and dogs. The splitting is a really heavy splitting. Splitting is a Libyane talki, specify the action. And it is basically used for the emphasis, basically used for the emphasis. Dr. Yakut has explained this thing uh, in Admaini. Then we go back to, since we follow, our basic follow is Yakut. Therefore, I went through this trouble of, of uh, revising his entire notes and try to find out the, looking at the each word in the dictionary and try to uh, put the meaning to it. My meaning may not be exact, brother and sister, because I'm just a student. It may be maybe slightly off, but actually the basic meaning is 
basic meaning is basically covered. So, Dr. Yakut is saying, Shakaknal Arda bin Nabatil Harijin Minha bin Sababil Nazule Matarish Shakam. Bidian li it li it li ikan bima yokurijo minhu fil sogri wal kubri wal kibri was shakli wal hayati. So meaning is that we have, let me take a point here. He's saying, we split the earth with the plants that emerges from it. Split the earth from the manat with menarges from it, menha, due to the falling of the rain, rain falling, due to the falling of the rain falling, okay? In a beautiful way that is appropriate, to what emerges from it, menu, we sagrin from it in terms of smallness, sigari, <coughs> sigari, smallness, is smallness, a humanity is sigaring, and then while kibrin, the greatness, kabara, vashakli, the manner, the shape, the configuration, while hayyati and the organization. So we were saying, we were saying that the plan where the merge is. We split the earth because of the rainfall. We split the earth from where the nabatat are, are emerged. Emerge whether they are small, large, shape, and form to the map. Okay, so this is what Dr. Yakut is trying to explain that thing. Okay, let's look at the authentic translation from our Ustad, uh, the other scholars which we follow right now. <coughs> I think we're looking at 26. Uh, there we go. I have prepared this note beforehand, brothers and sisters, so it become easy for all of us. Brothers and sisters, it looks very easy, but but I can assure you it, it takes about, <laughs> alhamdulillah, it takes about 50 hours per week for me to prepare these notes. They are uh, to cut and paste and copy and look at these directionally is quite a bit work, alhamdulillah, but I'm so, so happy to do as long as all of us, we all share understand um, equally, I will be so, I will be so grateful for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has, he has provided me in my life time and um, uh, spare me a time for me, alhamdulillah, that I would be able to devote my time specifically for him. For our uh, for our colleagues and brothers, you know, who who love to understand Quran, inshallah, we keep on doing it as much as as uh, as I can, inshallah. So, Doctor uh, Doctor Mustafa Khatab is explaining that thing. Summa shakaknal arda shakan, and meticulously split the earth open for sprouts. This is brother and sister is tafsiri translation. Okay. It's what is basically meant, Summa Shakka, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala meticulously, first he poured the water in abundance, then he meticulously spread different ways, you know, for, for large, for other plants, is a big split, for the smaller plants, a small split, different type of nabatat. So he had this split open for the sprouts, so that these sprouts came out. Dr. Mohar Ali, we does the literary translation from the word, then he said, then we crack the earth in cracks. <laughs> then we crack the earth in cracks. This is this is the quality of Dr. Mohar Ali. He tried to choose the uh, very close to the English word, to the Arabic word is used. And this is very important. I think there, in my limited knowledge, Alhamdulillah, I found the two scholars. One is Dr. Mohar Ali, and the other one is Muhammad Asad. Uh, the, both of them does very close translation to the Arabic word, close as possible for the English word, for the Arabic word used in the Quranic ayah. So he was saying, then we crack the earth, shaktan, we crack the earth <laughs> in cracks. Okay, shaktan. Sister Iman Torres, which is the Tafsiri translation, then we split the earth in fishes. So splitting or fishes, then we split the earth in fishes. Okay. Alhamdulillah, I hope, I hope this is clear. So I will give a screenshot for you guys. 
<clears throat> and please be reminded that this Shakpallav came in our previous ayahs. Remember, when we did is a Samau and Shakkat Shura in Shashak, which we did previously. Inshallah, we move forward to the next ayah. فَأَمْبَتْنَا فَأَمْبَتْنَا فِيهَا حَبَّا فَإِنَابًا قَدْبًا فَإِنَابًا قَدْبًا فَأَمْبَتْنَا فِيهَا حَبَّا فَإِنَابًا قَدْبًا فَأَنْبَتْنَا Let's look at it systematically with the system. فَأَنْبَتْنَا These are three words here. Okay. Ambat and now files have to be pata This is my writing little bad, so. Please forgive me those who take the screenshots. Yeah, this is actually, <laughs> you guys are what is doctor <laughs> writing, which is not very good, you know. We always in a hurry, <laughs> so we never really practice the good writing skills. Uh, I beg your pardon, it says it, why is always Babni Alafata. Okay, so please excuse me. Ambatna is Sele Madin, Babni Sukun, the same principle as I mentioned before. And na is again file, which is the Miri Mutasilun. Mutasilun. Pi Mahali, the Miri Mutasil, Mabni Allah, Sukun. Pi Mahali, Rafin, and this came as a file. This is the same we don't have to explain again and again, okay, as we did before. I will just write down the file here. Okay? And this is Madin. This is Atav. See, very simple. I think this is how we're going to do in our, after we finish the Juzamma. We're not going to go write too much in detail, inshallah. Then the classes become very smooth. And, and I'm hoping that all of you by the time will be reaching a stage um, uh, and join with the advanced students, you know, who will just look at the word below. Fai is Atav, Ambatna is Madin. Mabni uh, Rafata and now is fine. So I am female Rafin. So this Jumla actually now because the fellow file, uh, is a fellow file came together. So this Jumla here, min fail plus file is female Rafin again. Why? Because it is again matu feela jumla shakatna. Okay. The matu feela jumla shakatna. Okay. Wa matna. Fiha is jaru majur. Presents the two words. I'm not going to go through this. Alfajar, babni ala kasra, ha. Tamele Mutasil, Babnina Skun, Female Rafin, okay. And Isam, Isam Majroor. So this becomes Jaro Majroor. I will only write down here Jaro. Jarun wa Majroorun. You should do all the haircut correctly. Mutalik. Jaro Majroor is always Mutalik something. And it is Bilfail which came before. Ambatna. Okay. And Habban is for Ambatna Habban. Okay. Mafule Bahi. You can see very clearly. Mafule Bahi, and it is Mansubun. And alamat is. So, this is, so you have to look at this thing. Actually, the question comes in. 
why the other cases there is a mutfule mutlaq but here whether it's just there's no noun the verb has been come in uh, habban words verb of the habba did not came there right so so it's actually a mufule bahi of the fail ambatna fail ambat ambata fail ambata okay so let's look at the translation for this okay so ambatna nabata <clears throat> what's the word came here the word is nabata yanbatu from bab nasra Naptan or nabatan, two masra. Naptan or nabatan means to grow, to germinate, to vegetate, to sprout. To grow, to germinate, to vegetate, to sprout. Here, brother and sister, form four came. Yeah. This is Salasi Majarat. Is form four Salasi Majid. Anbata yunbitu in batan. Anbata. Yun bitu in batan to cause to grow, to germinate, to vegetate. Form four is always causative form. Okay, it causes something. Okay. Nabatan is collective noun, brother and sister. From that is called plants, plants, vegetables, vegetations. They all come nabatu. Okay, is a specifically a collective noun. Okay. And it can also come as a verbal noun. <laughs> you see, nabatan, same as this. Okay. Same as this, nabatan. The act of growing or raising or rearing. Raising or rearing. Raising or rearing. So, we say to cause to grow. So, then we say, then... And then now we royal we royal we what did the mirror excuse me azmati this is the mirror azmati royal we azmatu then we caused to grow then we caused to Grow. Fiha there is what in a hubban hubban. Now, what is hubban? Let's go through. We have it here. Root words are brother and sister. Ha ba ba. See, double mudaf mudaf words. Ha ba ba from bab <coughs> daraba. Abba yahibu. Daraba yad ribu. Abba yahibu. Hubban is master. Okay. Hubban is master. Okay. Means to love or to like. Abba I love or to like. Hababba from two. Hababa, you habibu tahbiban. To cause something. To cause something to be loved or liked. To cause something to be loved or liked. Form four is ahabba, you hibbu ihbaban. To love, to like, to desire. Ahabba, very common. Ahabba. Okay. Hubbun is love. Now, Muhabbatun is love, very, very common word in, in Urdu language. But you see the here, Dhamma here, brother and sister, you can see the Fatah here. When this Dhamma is Fatah, the thing becomes totally changed. It becomes Habbun. Habbun is to grain or to seed. Like Muhabbatun, no, Habbatun is a single grain, a noun of a single grain. Habbun is a noun of a collective noun. So this, this is, you have to remember. Remember we went through one time, Janna, uh, Janna, uh, uh, Jannatun, Jannatun, or Junnatun, how the meaning changes, the first word, 
So this is exactly the way you can see how the meaning totally changed from verb to. Okay, okay? this is the beauty of the of the Arabic uh, language. Okay, so here the language come in grains or seeds. Okay, you say. And then we cause to grow therein the grains or seed. First we pour the water in abundance. Then we split the earth for the nabat to come out. And then we say we cause to grow therein the grain and seed. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again going back to the same thing which is reminding here. Reminding him. Kalla lamma yakdi ma amarahu. And he said. Then he giving the thing. Don't you? Then man look at it, how his food is created. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned, then we pour the water in abundance, then we split the earth into splitting, tracks and so forth. So Nabata grew and then say, then we cause the grains to sprout in them or to grow in them. Okay. And the and, and the previous ayah when we when we learned about it. We say Ma Akfarahu, remember? So it was very, very, uh, very, 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 very strong words that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, has used. Okay. So <clears throat> now look at the, I think Dr. Yakut has mentioned something here uh, on a basis of Mufule Bahi. So I would like to explain that thing. So we go back to my uh, notes in the Abasa. And I copy from here, and then I'll explain what he was mentioning there. So Dr. Yakut is saying, Mufule bai mansuban alamatin azwa fata wa habban al habub al, sorry, al habub al Yatagazi biha insanu kal hintahi washahiri wagari huma. And he say in Hababan, Habban here is the grain, is the grain that human eats. He is trying to give the differentiation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala right now mentioning about the food. If you recall the previous ayah somewhere, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioning about the for animals and how he how he grew the how he split the earth and grew the vegetation for the animal to feed. Here Allah here here with because because the ayah started from Yalzurul Insana, right? So so again, here the Habban is basically used for green that human eat, such as wheat, barley, and others. He wanted. So here the preference is, is to the to the uh, to, to remind the insan how Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has has created things. Okay, so that's what the if you recall that was the previous ayah say. But usually insan al tama hu. I will look at this thing. So based upon the tama, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has used the word not 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 nabatat here, but actually habban here, which is. Which is basically the food such as which human eat, not the not the animal right now. Initial emphasis are there, inshallah. And if you as you go forward, you will see the emphasis will come uh, uh, to the uh, they, they, it will it will come back to the to the to the animals also, inshallah. Okay. So let's look at the authentic translation from the um, from our Ustad for this particular ayah. And this is very simple. It's very similar to what we have already did. It's just a matter of uh, comparing now. I want to be, I think, very sure about it. Alhamdulillah, that when you do this way, uh, that how close we are to the scholars which are dressing like okay. Dr. Mustafa Khatam was saying, فَأَمْبَتْنَا فِيهَا habban, Causing grain to grow in it. Okay? Then we cause grain to grow in it. Then we grow there in the corn. It's just um, um, uh, the 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 uh, Dr. Morali mentioned about particularly corn. 
but actually Dr. Yakut has mentioned that human food, which is wheat, barley, and others, corn. Okay. The Tremontoris, and in them make the grains to grow. In them, and in them, therein, we make the grains to grow. We make the grain to grow. Okay. So she did try the fiha ambatna habban. Okay. And she referred to the fiha ardan shakka fiha ambatna habban. But here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala use abatna fiha habban. Make it a little bit. Uh, there's the fiha as the emphasis for the ambatna. Okay. The other, rather the other way around. Okay. So let's go forward. Alhamdulillah. Wa inaban wa kadban. Wa inaban wa kadban. Let's see. I think I think we have to do, cover two more ayahs very quickly, inshallah, if you allow me, uh, so that we can finish the concept. Okay. So I'm going to rush a little bit. Okay. So here basically, brothers and sisters, two words. It's very simple, actually, because we already have. Wa is at watab. Mabni ala fata and anaban is isma matu ala habban and it would be femalely present. Okay, very clear. Okay, wakadhan the same thing. Same thing, brothers and sisters. So with what I'm going to do, I'm just copy. We get in a rush right now. I want to finish two more uh, so that we have we have finished this concept before we move to the new concept, okay? So, wa inaban wa kadhan. Okay, what is inaban, brothers and sisters? So let's go. Inaban. Root words are, brothers and sisters, ain, noon, ba. Root word, form word, it. Parasi Majadat word did not come in Quran. Okay. The the form two came in, which is annaba you annebu ban. It is basically referred to grapevine to produce grapes. Meaning this word means to produce grapes. Okay. Anibun is collective noun. Anibun is collective noun from here, grapes or wine. Is jama is anabun. Grapes type of grape, okay. Jama is anabun. So we will say grapes and we will go before we go through next word also. Kadban, kadaba, yakdebu, kadban. Kadaba, yakdebu, kadban, bab, daraba. To cut or to cut off. Kadaba, to cut or to cut off. It's different than in shakka, okay. <laughs> kadban is noun called vegetation, pasture, herbage. Vegetation, pasture, herbage. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala referring to the herbage part the, for the animals or plant that which are cut and eaten in a fresh state. Oh, I beg your pardon. Those are the plants which cut in a fresh state. This evil human can eat also, okay? Which is cut and eaten in a fresh state like salad. <laughs> you can do with salad also, okay? But at the same time, it can also refer to the animal food which is green or fodder or pasture. Pasture, pasture for the animal, okay? <clears throat> so I, I think they both meaning, brother and sister, the, the leaves, we eat it, and the and the roots of that thing, like carrots or all type of thing, the animal is, okay? <clears throat> the, sorry, the, the carrots and the, the, the turnip, etc., we eat it, and the, and, the, and the foliage, you know, the animal eat it, actually. So it's both meaning, okay? So, so Kadaban, and aban, we say, and grapes. Sorry, brothers and sisters, I'm rushing right now. I do have to finish. Uh, two more ayahs. And grapes or the wine, a kadban, and greens. Order. Pasture. Okay. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, and then we grow from it there in the grains and the grapes and the kadhan. Okay. So let's quickly look at through what Yakut has mentioned there. 
I did prepare their note. I'm not going to spend too much time, but just leave it for you. So you should have, uh, uh, I think he referred to Kadham, which is a little bit important word here. Copy, which is, we go back, I'm going to put it here. Okay, Dr. Yakut mentioned al Kadbu, al Shajru, or Tarabu. The Torabu, uh, uh, Tarbu is basically moist or fresh. Moist or fresh. The root words are, oh, I beg your pardon. His root words are Ra Taba. Okay, fresh. Okay, moist or fresh. Was Sumi Kadban, and its name is the Kadban. Lainahu Yaktubun, because it is Yaktubun. Ayya. Yakta marratun bade okhra, you know, it is called kadva because it is cut. It is cut. That is cut again and again. Marratun once, you see. Ayya yaktu be cut or severed. Marratun once, bade okhra after another. Wa kadbu, what is the meaning of kadbu? He is, a, is called alafu. Alafu, order, four gm. That's the meaning of order. Al. Al Dawabu, Da Baba, Al Dawabu, Al Dawabu, which is for fodder for animal. Athu, fodder for Al Dawabu animal. Okay, it's called riding animal. Dawabu basically means the riding animal. Okay, the root word is Da Baba. Okay, so that's what he mentioned. The Kadban means actually that this is this is the grapes or the human, and the and that is. Uh, Kadban is basically basically a powder or or the or the for, or the or the forage for the riding animal. We see what greens and for and stuff. Okay, I thought you better know that. So we go back to the uh, our meaning uh, of the ayah twenty eight. Ayah twenty eight. We quickly take it from here. Copy. Go back here. We put down here. Okay, Dr. Yakov is mentioning here. Uh, Dr. Mustafa Khatabi mentioning here, Vainab and Kadhan, as well as the grapes and greens. Dr. Mohrali and grapes and edible herbs. Edible herbs, okay? So this is for the, for the human, okay? So it's it meaning that basically both ways. And the, and the grapes and the fresh green plants. Grapes and the fresh green plants. I thought actually, basically, I think even though Dr. Yakov is mentioning it could be for the animal, riding animal. But again, up till here, it could be for the, basically, it could cover the both one, both one, the herbage for the animals, and the roots for that, the carrot and tarnish, and all type thing, you know, human can eat it, okay? So, or or, or you can have a fresh salad also, okay? So I think this is the, this is the meaning for that thing. If you say, and then the cause, uh, the cause they're in the grain, uh, the, the seeds, the, the, uh, the grain grows, and the grapes and the forage for uh, the, the the fresh green for human or forage for the animals. Okay, so I will give you a screenshot for this. And I'll give you a screenshot for this by translation here if you want to interested in that. And give you just for this one, which you already did before. And then here is the vocabulary page. For instance, we have, uh, I, almost our time is over, but I think we have to do two more ayahs, inshallah. And then, and then because after that, after that, I think, no, I think we need to have four more ayahs. Four more ayahs, we won't be able to do that. I think let's try to do two more ayahs quickly, inshallah, and then we and, and we conclude class today. Was that unun, one naklun? It's very, very easy, okay? So I these things are all the same thing, okay? So this is the reason what I'll do. I think maybe we'll do all of them. So let's let me just take copy from here. Copy.
Beef. 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 They are all the same brothers and sisters. So this is actually okay. Let's go quickly, okay? There are two words here, brothers and sisters, wa and zetuna. Okay. Wa is harfiata. Zetuna is smatu falahabban fi mehali nasmin. Okay. Our naklan, harfiata, wa and atab. Naklan is smatu falahabban fi mehali nasmin. Okay. And the meaning for that is basically zetunan. The root words are zata, za yata, yazitu, zitan bab, daraba. To put or apply oil to something, or e.g. food, okay? To put or apply oil to something means to put an oil to food, okay? Zaitun is collective noun, olives or olive grain root. Olive and olive grain root. Zaituna, sun, and olive grain tree. Olive grain tree, okay? Nakhlan is nakhla, yankhalu, nakhlan, to select or to shift. Nakhlatun is unit, collective noun, Nakhlun or Nakhilun, date or palm tree, date or palm tree, okay? So we write down here, brother and sister, and olives, and remember, and we cause them to grow, okay? Olives and date trees, date palms. That's why brother and sister I mentioned because this this is basically a food for the human consumption we're talking about. So mostly I think the previous ayah when the when the when we when we use the word kadvan is is it could be could be used for the green leaves for the human human consumption, like salad and so forth and and, and the, okay. Uh, what is Hadaikan, brother and sister? Hadaikan says basically we look through again, wow is that and hadaika is is a matu falahabba himali nasmin. And the meaning for hadaika is is garden. Okay. The root words are brother and sister, hadaka, yahadiku, hadkan, to and circle, to and compass, to look or to glance is all hadaka. But hadikatun is plural is hadaiku is garden. Is garden. Hadaiku is garden. Okay. Adaikyo's garden, okay? And gulban is basically word galaba, yaglebu, galban, or galabatan, okay? This looks like a nath of the hadaikan, okay? So galaban, galaba, yaglebu, galban, galabatan, to subdue, to conquer, to conquer, to defeat, to be victorious, to be trump, okay? But gulban, dhamma, or Gulabau, plural is Gulabau. Gulban is the plural of Gulabau, is lusciousness, abound with branches and dense tree. It's basically used as thick foliage, thick foliage, thick trees. Okay? So we say Hadaikun, Gulban, Oho. So Gulban basically, brother and sister, came here is not. We have to keep the same. Natun is of Hadayat. Okay. Golban. And this is Mansubun. Of course, Alamat in Nasbai is Fatah. Uh, okay. So, brother and sister, so Hadaikun, Hadaikun, we read a garden. We already look at the meaning for that. Right? And Golban is of thick, lush green. Then Dense green or of thick foliage. Okay. 
is ghalban. Okay? So alhamdulillah, we're saying, and then we cause them to grow, grow the olives and the date palm and the gardens and the thick and list, garden with thick and thick foliage. Okay? Thick foliage. So um, Dr. Yakut has mentioned about ghalban a little bit, which I will quickly explain to you. And then we translation, and then we, I think, we stop after that. I beg your pardon. I think I made a mistake here in a rush. Copy. Dr. Yakuzi Maxim Gulban, Jamao Mufrat. Aglabun li mazakkar. It's a mazakkar. Wa gulbai li amuannas. Okay. Gulbai is muannas. Gulbai is. Gulbaa is muannas of mazakkar. Aglabun. Mazakkar is aglabun. Muannas is gulabun. Muannas is used because of the garden. He said like. Like akhdara. Wakhdara. This is mazakkar. And this is muannas. And the jama both are, but both are khudrun. Khudrun. Jama both are khudrun. We say, wadaika, and what's the meaning of wadaika gulbun? A naklu gulbun hiya naklul, nakhrul, kiramul, zalazu, al jizu. And the gardens of a galba palm tree are generous palm tree with thick trunks. A generous palm tree with thick trunks. That's what he means. Hadaikun gulbun is. He's talking about the gardens of palm trees with thick stems. That's what Dr. Yakut is mentioning because he's Arab, you know, a generous palm tree with thick trunks. So this is basically referring to the dead palm tree, the gardens of dead palm tree with thick foliage. The gardens of dead palm tree with thick foliage. Let's look at the what our Ustad is telling uh, our um, Authentic translation for this. Uh, at 30th, we need both uh, 49 and 30th, okay? Copy. Okay. Bear with me a couple of more minutes, brothers and sisters. So, the doctor was was atunan, wa naklan. Doctor uh, Mustafa Khatab is saying on olives and the palm trees, and olives and the date palms, and the olives and the palm trees. Okay. And here wa hadaikan gulban they was and the dense orchards. Doctor Mustafa Khatab is saying dense orchards, gardens of different fruits. Okay. Dr. Mohor Ali, an orchard of luxurious growth and gardens of luxurious growth. I think this is, mashallah, very beautiful. Luxurious growth. Iman Torres and the gardens of thick with tall trees. Thick with tall trees. Dr. Yakut is basically mentioned that this is basically uh, referring to Naklan. And wa Naklul Gulban hiya Naklun Karamun al Gadadu Azur, a garden. A generous palm tree with thick trunks. Okay. So, Alhamdulillah, I think we can stop here. Uh, the fire, because uh, this is very, very good actually coming, but uh, unfortunately, I was going to stop here of this uh, start new ayah, but I think it's, we have already over time, actually 10 minutes over time, so I think I'm going to stop here. And inshallah, we do very quick dua, and then we go to the next class from here onwards. Okay. Uh, I think I forgot to give you a screenshot for this. Actually, I gave you a screen. I beg your pardon. While I'm going to the you can have a screenshot for this, you know. Allahumma salli ala muhammadin wa ala 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 muhammadin kama salli ala ibrahim wa ala 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 ibrahim wa ala ala
اللہ مبارک علی محمد و علی محمد کما برکت علی ابراہیم و علی علی ابراہیم انا کما تمجید او اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی ان لائٹ از اور ہوم ان اور فیملیز وی دی لائٹ اف دی قران اینڈ انسٹیڈ دس لائٹ ان دی ہارٹس اف اور چلڈرن اللہ اتمم لنا نورا وقف لنا ان کلا کل شیء قدیر ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد اذ هداتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمه ان انت الوهاب ربنا امنا فاغفر لنا وارحمنا وانت خير الراحمين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وكنا عذاب النار سبحان ربك رب العزة يما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين ولا سبحانه وتعالى هو very special mercy of the people of people of Palestine and, and, and Lebanon إن شاء الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته جزاكم الله خير see you next time إن شاء الله this concludes our class for today